Right, here we are. It's um, We found a, a very busy room. Um, there's a lot going on in the background, but I just had to have this interview because this is Arie and the two people that I've spoken to that seem to know this space very well told me that this man has blown their minds. Now, no pressure, right? No pressure. There's no pressure on you now, Arie, but you've got to blow the mind of people out there. And in fairness, I've just had a little chat with Arie, and it should be mind blowing because what he's doing sounds phenomenal. So, Arie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, uh, okay, but uh, myself, my company. Yeah, yeah, okay, what? great, great. You can tell us anything you want, whether it's so what chill? led you to Web3 or why you're here or what you do. Awesome. It's over awesome. to you. What, what do people, what do you want people to know about you? I'll go basic, I'll go basic. I was born in Madrid, Spain. Uh, I lived there 17 years of my life and then decided to move to London to study biomedical engineering at Imperial College. I graduated a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> so I'm pretty much uh, oh, well great side of the island, yeah. Uh, and here I am, entering uh, the Web3 world. I mean, entering, kind of entering. I've been here for a bit. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes, sir. That's really well done. And tell us about what you do. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay, so we have been a platform. It's called fair.xyz, F-A-I-R.xyz. Basically, the idea is to enable anyone to create their NFT collection in literally two to three minutes. So the idea is you go into the platform, you upload your artwork the same way you upload a picture to Instagram, for example. Uh, and like that's pretty much it. Like you upload your artwork, and we create like a website for you already. It's just fully automatic, uh, and people can go to that website and mint your collection. Maybe, maybe they, they they can buy your NFTs there. Now this is completely code free. You need to do nothing about coding, nothing technical at all. You just go in there, upload your art, put in some details like how much is the price gonna be, how much secondary royalties you want, secondary royalties is the percentage you get of the sale when that piece gets sold again. Uh, and that's it. And uh, we're, we're free to use, basically. We charge nothing up front. Uh, and we charge nothing on secondary sales either. We only take 6% on the primary sales. So when you launch your collection and you sell your, your NFTs for the first time, we take 6% of that. But if that gets resold, we take nothing again. And as I said before, we take nothing up front. Zero up front. You just log in the same way to log into Instagram or Facebook or whatever. This sounds too good to be true. So just for the record, it's, it's from what I'm hearing, website. From what I'm hearing, so someone with no experience can come on your platform, they can create a bunch of NFTs for yes. nothing, yeah. and they only pay money if they sell them, and they yeah. give you 6% of it. Yeah. So you only, we only make money if you make money. If you don't make money, you don't lose any money on us. If you spend other money on marketing or whatever, that's up to you. But on us, you spend no money. And can you create, say, um, NFTs that aren't necessarily art, if they're, say, um, this NFT will give you um, an exclusive invite to our launch yes. event or things that say crowdfunding, raising um, money for companies. Yeah, so we are integrating this kind of utilities uh, slowly. Right now it's uh, art and we also have some utility in terms of like gated access. So as a recent example, we did a collection for uh, like the most famous uh, South African rapper uh, and he did it with us. And the way it worked is that he wanted to give gated access to the people that bought the NFT to listen to the song, right? So after they uh, bought the NFT, they could like, uh, basically only they had access to listen to the song and download it. So this is the kind of utility that you're talking about. So if you have a certain ticket, you can get to this event, or you can also like raise money from these people. So yeah, we're integrating all these utilities slowly, but slowly in a startup means like in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so we're gonna have all of this integrated very soon. That is absolutely brilliant. Well. You know, I was told that this guy had blown, blown the minds of the two people that recommended me. And even in my uh, mockumentary mode, I'm finding it very difficult to find any flaws in what you're saying here. So that's ruined my mockumentary, but this has actually made it really easy, potentially, for anyone, any of the creatives, to go on, mint your own NFTs, um, have your own website to sell it, and only pay for it when you get paid. Exactly, that's correct. So the idea is like, you know, like give it a try. Even if you're not into NFTs, but you have a brand and you have some kind of, uh, just you want to raise money, or you want to give something to your users, you know, just try a collection, you know, try it out, do it. It literally takes two to three minutes. If, if it doesn't come up to me, uh, I'm happy to guide you through the whole process. Again, if that's uh, for, if by any chance that's a bit still hard to do it, but again, it's like, I wish I had my laptop here, I would show you like, it's like three tabs which you go, fill out information, upload the arts, and that's it. Set up the price, and all the money is going to go into your wallet straight away. Um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I wish I had more to say, but it's as simple as that. Literally. I'm glad you don't. <laughs> well, the great pitch. Well, folks, this definitely goes down as the most succinct, slickest, um, direct interview. In fact, I may even have to stop the mockumentary. Now we've found <laughs> this place for people to go to mint their own NFTs easily. You don't have to be a tech geek. Yes. Um, Aria, this is unbelievable. And it, if I may add, because we're, we're all about making it easy, right? Mm. So I was saying how it is easy is for uh, creators to create their own NFTs, but we're also making it super super easy for people to buy NFTs. Why? Because right, right now to buy, you, have, you still have to like create a wallet, and it's like many processes, you know, it's like hard to do. You have to buy Ethereum, which is like a whole headache maybe if you're not into it. So we're integrating credit card payments, for example, so like you can just do it with a credit card. And we're also integrated a login uh, with your email. So instead of creating a wallet, which maybe is annoying for you, if you log in with like your Gmail or whatever it is, like the same way you do like the sign ups to any other platform, uh, you're basically all signed up. So like, yeah, just making it as easy as possible for both the creators and the collectors. And I don't want to get too technical, but we also solve a lot of the issues uh, on the collector side, like gas wars. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Field transaction bots. So for example, we did an NFT drop for the U for the U for the government of Ukraine uh, and we had like 20 billion bots from Russia trying to attack us and none of them got through there was like completely fermenting and people paying like six dollars on like uh, gas which is like the more or less what we paid for the transaction to go through when actually this would have happened in any other platform you would have been paying like I don't know like 500 bucks wow. well Ari I, I shake your hand sir that is unbelievable <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for the A really interview. good job. And not only that, um, bear in mind here that Arie uh, speaks English as a second language. <laughs> and with me even telling him that I was going to take the piss, I think I'm really going to struggle with this one because... Oh, you'll uh, find something for sure when you rewatch. Well, this. we did get a little bit geeky at the end there. Maybe there's yeah, something government I can of Ukraine, cut. Ukrainian government. Maybe there's to, something yeah. I can cut in that might be, uh, that might hit the spot. But oh, this definitely. seems brilliant. If so, not, we just like film it again. I'll just make something up. And... <laughs> <laughs> Ariane, thank you for being such a good sport. Thank you. Thank really you. enjoyed this. Pleasure.